In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can sim uh, synchronize our model and our drawing eye properties so that when we look in Vault and do a search, both files appear. Um, so in here, I've got a, a model. Currently, it's got some eye property information. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new um, drawing. And I'm going to base this on the current ISO standard that comes with Inventor. Going to put a base view on and hit OK. So we can see that title block is still blank, and the reason for that is that no properties are copied across. Let's save that drawing. Okay, so we've got some information when we save it that gets copied, basically a part number, which is the the um, file name of, of the drawing. So within our drawing environment, if we go to Tools and Document Settings, and we can do this on our template, under Drawing, I can say Copy Model Eye Property Settings. Now, this will show me all the eye properties for that base view. If you're doing this on your template and you want to copy uh, custom eye properties, make sure you create those in your drawing first, and they'll be pulled through onto here. And here I can select certain properties or all properties, going to take out revision numbers that's going to be controlled by Vault. I'm going to hit OK. Hit OK again and what it will do as you can see is filled in everything in and it's copied those properties from the model through. Now you can see description is missing so let's go to our model, go to its eye properties and fill in description. We'll make those changes to save it in the model. Go to a drawing, and if I look at the eye properties, we can see that's not copied across. And the reason being is that the options in the document settings basically enable this button update copied properties. If I click on update copied properties and go in, we can see it's copied that straight across. So that's great, but obviously our engineers might forget to hit the update copied properties. So how can we um, do this using our logic? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and add a rule into my drawing. And in that rule, I'm going to add three lines of code. So the lines of code I'm, I'm adding uh, are not a normal snippet. They are ones that I've written uh, and placed in. So I'm just going to drop those in. Now, what these lines of code are doing is they're getting hold of all the commands within Inventor, and they're finding one called update copied model eye property command. So basically, it's finding a button on the ribbon, and that button is this one here, and then it's going to hit that button. So, this one. so if I hit OK, that is going to copy those properties. It's great having a logic rule to do it. We want that to happen in this drawing or in our template anytime we save it. So if I go to event triggers, what I can do is I can say before save document, select the rule, hit OK. Okay, and now if I go to my model, to the eye properties, and I change this to clamp assembly two or something like that, back to my drawing and hit save. What I should find, just let's say I forgot to save my model, is that it's pulled that data straight across for me. Okay, 